Hi everyone. Let's have a quick revision of what we have studied so far in this chapter, okay? And I welcome you all to the study room. Let's have a quick revision of what we have studied so far. Let's go. So, quick revision. Talking about first, we have the three pillars in this chapter that were gender, religion and caste. In gender, we what we got to know about was it refers to the characteristics of women, men and girls and boys that are socially constructed. We talked about that how uh there are several stereotypes and expectations which are held by the society to the girls and boys or the men and women in or in a society Th these but that they have to act accordingly to that particular perspective or that particular uh way only just take an example that even if there is a birthday of a boy then uh, the people are often give him gifts like a gun or a toy car or something but if it is a birthday of a girl then they give gifts like a pink dress or something like that this, this is a kind of a stereotype or a socially constructed uh, they have expected them that a girl will like that only or a boy will like that only that's why slowly and slowly what they do family relatives their neighbors and the people around and any particular child they somehow uh, like develop their mindset in such a way that they have to act accordingly to that particular way only they construct that uh, the way they uh, like they uh, the upbringing that has been done to a girl or a boy is in such a way that they have to act accordingly to that particular way only that the women are expected to work within the household area and men have to work outside they have to do the public or uh, like public work they have to go to the bank and do the all those courses so that's how the division has been done and that's also uh, takes place within the private sphere and the public sphere so we have sexual division of labor that occurs and the work that women does at a household level they are not validated or appreciated because obvious this that work that they do are not leading to what income is not generating from that work and then they, that's why they are not recognized or appreciated for the work they do at home otherwise if someone they would have paid for that uh, work they would have appreciated their efforts like if uh, we see in restaurants and every many places uh, there are male members who often do the cooking and everything they are cooks in the restaurant so their work is highly appreciated and regarded in their field however the same work that has been done by a woman even in the household area is not appreciated or regarded so that's how the, it refers to the characteristics of women men girl and boys which are socially constructed constructed by the society talking about the religion is the belief that the in and worship of god or gods an organized system of beliefs and rules so basically is just a belief and worship for the god in an organized system of beliefs and rules we talked about the religion in such a way that how it affects the political scenario uh, in positive as well as the in negative way however it was mostly largely negative uh, we got to know about gandhi ji's view that he wanted to incorporate the moral ethical moral ethics and several ethics that he has moral values and the ethical values from religion to the politics but this is not what got into practice the, the thing that is in practice is totally different it led to what communalism within the society and talking about the caste caste is a form of a social stratification that is characterized by endogamy and hereditary transmission of style of life so basically caste is something that has earlier it was based on occupation basis but later on what it it happens to be hereditary basis or like by birth if a person belongs to that particular family they have to do that occupation only and they belong that he belongs to that particular caste only so that's how caste system got very rigid by the time and till now it is also practiced in, in our country in several ways in, in within the political framework or with at the uh, societal level as well okay let's move ahead what we got to know about is the sexual division of labor as i stated before that all the work inside the home is either done by women of the family or organized by them so all because it was within the private frame all the work done by the within the household was done by women or organized by them and then we talked about the untouchability that was happening within the caste system the practice of social exclusion resulting in segregation of outcasts from the upper caste so when there were like four castes we talked about brahmin kshatriya vaishyas and shudras it there was one other category as well that was the untouchables they were not belonging to any varna system or they were not the part of varna system however they were because they were segregated from the whole scenario the whole caste system within the society and they they were excluded from it 
in such a way that they were considered as outcast and the people from upper caste or any up caste upper caste were not allowed or were like they refused to sit, even sit with them or eat with them that's how untouchability occurred and that's how differences in the treatment occurred and it it's got like from generation after generation this kind of thing it passed from one hereditary generation to the another and this leads to what inequalities within the society then talking about the communalism in the terms of religion is the idea that community can only be formed on the basis of religion and one community is above the uh, is superior to the another community so this ideal idea or this perception that the people of one community have this leads to communalism within the society uh, when whenever an ism is added it leads to an ideology so communalism is basically an ideology is an idea that community can be formed on the basis of religion and it turns to be negative in politics why that people prefer to consider one political community community uh, to be one particular community with religious community to be superior to the another one so this is what we got to know about communalism in our previous videos and then talking about secularism if we take in a difference differentiate between communalism and secularism secularism we we can also see here if there is an ism so it turns out to be an ideology where india does not have an official religion the constitution of india ensures that right to freedom of religion gives the state and gives the state the right to intervene to ensure equality so secularism is basically the idea that every religion is equal and uh, they india treats every individual equally in terms of the they have the right to profess any religion that they want this is by various constitutional provisions like the freedom of religion and right to equality like right to freedom of religion or right to equality the constitution of india is ensuring that uh, every individual has the right to profess whatever religion they want to and the state can have the right to intervene to ensure the equality so that the equitability can be maintained within the society the indian constitution bans the practice of untouchability we must un uh, remember it properly that the indian constitution bans the practice of untouchability untouchability has been abolished under article 17 of the indian constitution and then talking about the caste manifest in politics in the form of vote banking but politics also play a role in the caste we'll in the last we what we got to know that caste plays a very important role within the political framework however politics also plays a very important role in the caste so this is how what we got to know in the previous chapters and previous videos of this chapter so this chapter of gender religion and caste we got to study a lot and in the next video in the next chapter we will read about popular struggles and movements till then thank you for being with me in this platform study room 